Doing a little bit of outside cooking today, this is grilled prawns. Now starting off, we're going to make a garlic butter. What I have here is four cloves of garlic. Just run these along a microplane to create a paste. You can roughly chop and thinly slice, but you're going to get the best flavor out of the paste. And along with the garlic, we're going to need two grams or 0.1 ounces of flat leaf parsley. Scrunch it up, it will make it a lot easier to chop, then roughly chop, making sure there's no large leaves or stems. Now for the garlic butter, place a small pan over a medium heat, add in 50 grams of unsalted butter. The amounts here are completely up to you, by the way, it just depends on how much garlic butter you like. Allow that to melt, then add in the garlic and the flat leaf parsley. Mix it all around and cook it for one minute, and be sure to break up the garlic because it can clump together, then remove it from the stovetop. For the prawns, I ended up using about 15. The amount here is completely up to you, and these are banana prawns that are being thawed. The way I'm preparing this is optional. There is many different ways you can do this. All of the cooking times will remain the same, so don't worry. All I'm doing here is just trimming off the legs so that they don't burn, because I am going to be butterflying the prawns and cooking them in the shell. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can take the shell off completely and remove the head. To butterfly them, what I'm doing is just laying them on their back and then using a sharp knife just to cut through that flesh and stop at the shell. We don't want to go the whole way through because we want this to be able to open up. Pretty much the same technique as if you were doing a chicken breast. And the reason that I'm doing it is because it's a different technique. Some of the restaurants that I go to serve it like this. I really like it. You can just get a nice small fork and pick out the flesh and it looks good on the plate. Once you do have it opened up though, there will be the chute that we need to remove. Make sure you get that out because nobody wants to eat that gritty stuff. And when you have them all done, just line them on a tray flesh side up and we can start brushing over that garlic butter that we made before. Get all over them, make sure you get in all of the little nooks and crannies. If you enjoy eating the shell, make sure you do it on both sides. You can just pour the garlic butter straight over the top, which is what I'm going to do in a second. But do leave a little bit of that behind because we want to use that to baste whilst these are grilling as well. Just give them a little shake if you have decided to add that over. That way we'll get all of that garlic butter completely all over the prawns. And with that done, we can then get cooking. Now I'm grilling these on a barbecue. If you don't have one, don't worry. These are easily done in a pan. Same method, same timing, exactly what I'm doing. But what I have here is a grill plate just over the highest heat of my barbecue. Add the prawns in, flesh side down. If you don't have a pan like what I'm using, just put them straight on the grill. And we're going to cook these for two minutes on that flesh side just to get that nice barbecue crust, the golden color, and then just flip them over. And cook for a remaining one to one and a half minutes, basting over that remaining garlic butter at the same time. It's good to get them completely coated. That way you're going to get the best flavor. And also hit them up with a little bit of salt and pepper on the way as well. Once you have that all done, these can then be removed from the barbecue, placed onto a tray, and what we have just created these beautiful and delicious garlic butter grilled prawns, which are super easy to make. There is only one thing left to do, and we can then dig in.